All right, hello. I am at 926 Cutter Court. And um, I just wanted to, before I go in, kind of give you a shot of the interior. So um, this is a, a condo building. This unit is on the fourth floor. I have mentioned to you all that the laundry is on uh, each floor. They were not originally built with uh, washers and dryers installed into the units. This particular one I'm gonna show you today, they have put in their own ventless stackable washer dryer, which is a great um, asset for this particular unit. And then um, just, you know, it's an elevator building. Um, most of the floors have like a credenza. Um, maybe they've redone the paint or something in here. I'm not really sure why that this floor doesn't have that, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, these are very similar to the catch court. In fact, this floor plan is exactly like the catch court condos. Um, and it's been redone really nicely. You uh, come into a wide open space. I do like the way they put shiplap on that wall and made it an accent wall. That's pretty nice. And then um, I should have turned the lights on. Now, um, I have been in uh, some of the units here that have actually uh, taken out this wall and made the kitchen a little bit more open to the rest of the room, but this is the original galley style kitchen. Um, and of course it's been redone and they've put in a, a cute backsplash and new cabinets and new appliances and new big sink. This is, uh, Quartz, I believe, is what that is. And then you've got the little um, utility room here where they've installed a very nice front-loading stackable ventless washer-dryer. Um, so really very nicely done. Um, I didn't look to see what this unit had originally been listed at, but it has come down to 720. I imagine that, um, sorry, I'm backtracking to close that door. I imagine that due to it, the renovation here and putting in so many nice new things that they are trying to capture or um, regain rather um, what they invested into the renovation. You do have a nice balcony here. That. has all, almost all of these, uh, catch, cutter, caravel, clipper court, all have the storage outside on the balcony, which is super nice to put all your belongings and then you can keep that locked. Um, if you have short-term rentals, uh, the guests would not be able to have access to that and that would just be your owner closet. The view here is looking right out over at the brand new Harbortown Clubhouse where the, um, PGA Heritage Golf Tournament is played. And this is just sort of a view. This is not the harbor side of Harbor Town. This is the clubhouse side. And of course there's a big tree there so you can't really see, but that is the parking lot for the, the clubhouse for the golf course, Harbor Town Golf Links. All right, now, I just remembered that Diana said that Alan, you were interested in um, looking under the sink and those kinds of things. So I'm going to backtrack to the kitchen. Which, uh, you know, for me, I'm not an inspector type or a builder type or a contractor type of any kind. So not my forte, but the naked eye tells me that it looks like a dry, clean space. Okay. So let's go into this. What I remember about these is that it sort of has two masters. This, the first floor, 
can be used as the master. You have a nice big window there, so lots of light can come in, but a nice thick curtain to block out the sun. That's a king size bed, which fits nicely, as well as two um, large nightstands on either side. And then you've got some big closets in these older units. Now this is being sold furnished. The only exclusions to um, what's being sold here, it says from the listing document that the what belongs in the owner's closet, and that was that thing outside on the balcony that I showed you, those items are not being sold because they are the owner's personal belongings. And don't laugh at me, but um, on Fridays, if I don't have clients, I wear camouflage. So I have a camouflage t-shirt on today. Um, nice lighting, super nice, uh, brand new vanity, um, nice high sink top. I like that. All this is new, so I don't detect any moisture there or any age on that. If this is all brand new. Um, looks like they even went so far as to put a new door on the medicine chest. It could have even been custom built. You don't see that too often. Anyway, nice shiplap. Nice new modern tile get up. Great shower. So you can just walk in. A little thing, a little nook there. Now these have also a small linen closet. Oh, wow. So, ones I've seen before had shelving in here, which they either just decided not to put back in, or maybe they're still working on it. I'm not sure. But, if not, you could put some shelves in there. They, looks, looks like they opened up this door. I'm not really sure. You don't get the full switch plate here. I'm not really sure. I can't. I don't know why. And um, also, just so you know that the ship, the, um, excuse me, the, um, what do you call it? The uh, popcorn has been scraped and removed, which is great. Also, just so you know, in the living room, that that ceiling goes straight up to the top. Having that extra window up there just lets all this extra light come in. Now, early American Hilton Head spiral staircase. Not everybody's favorite, but this is just the way these were made. I haven't seen anybody that's been able to do anything different here with a staircase, a different kind of staircase, but the staircase itself has been updated and they've um, put the wood on the steps and have made it Pretty nice. Now you come to this landing and you've got this closet there. I'm not sure what that's for. Ellen, I bet you know. And, oops, sorry. Again, uh, another little closet. You have nice storage space here. So they have this set up with another king um, bed in this room. You know, it's nice that the, uh, now the popcorn has not been removed from this ceiling, but it's, it looks really good. I think they painted it. Lots of nice light coming in. And 
and um, the closets here on both sides. I imagine some of this is personal items as well. Personal items as well that don't convey with the sale. This bathroom has a uh, new vanity, just a single sink. Popcorn has been scraped in here. Um, there we go. So the tub, that's not the original tub. So at some point, I'm not sure if that's new or, but at some point it's a newer at least tub and it's got that cute shiplock border. This is a really nice, solid building. These condos are more solid in feel than a villa is. But you've got two big windows. Both have uh, plantation st shutters installed here. And it looks down over the living room, so this room can, um, open up to the, the window and the light, or you can close the shutters and let all the light out. Now they've set this up. Most, um, I think folks would go ahead and use this as the master because this is really the master. And I think you'll see when I get to the bathroom. But they have put two queen size beds in, in here so you can fit four people in this room. Probably did that because the bathroom is bigger and that light is out so I apologize, can't turn that on. You have a large closet. Oh, and they don't have this set up as a dual sink but I would have put a dual sink in here. You're gonna have four people in this room. Looks like that light is out too. And uh, this shower doesn't really look like it's been updated along with, but it's in good shape. You know, this is kind of maybe more of the, this is not original tile, but this was updated at some point, but maybe not as brand new as some of the other, and I'm not sure this countertop is brand new either. It's still in good shape though. Looks great, and, and they've blended um, the few things that uh, were not changed in here very well with all the new stuff. All new flooring. This is that LVP, I believe, so it takes wear really well. Does not scratch easily. And um, I want to, I'm gonna go down the stairs Oh, I didn't notice that. So that's nice that they built this door. So that's nice if you have kids up here, you can close them off and it does latch. Um, I'm actually probably gonna turn this video off and um, film once I get down. I wanna show you the front of the building and the front lobby entryway, just so you know. Um, kind of what the building looks like. It's so similar to Catch Court. Um, you know, they have the condo buildings and then they have the villas. And um, I, you know, I give this one a big thumbs up. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off and I'll film the front next. Bye.